What's up guys, Bowen here. This is a tutorial for how to rig the Slenderman. Um, now, if you want the model of the Slenderman, if you just go to my channel sub box and then you go to Cinema 4D and 3D Max, Max models or go to the, the channel the 3D models, um, just go to the videos and then look for Slender, which is right here. And you can download it. It would just be like the normal Cinema 4D and 3DS Max, um, but this is a Cinema 4D tutorial. So I've already got him, so I'm just going to load him up. Slender. I think I have him. Yeah, I do have him. Slender. And then you open him. And you need to put textures on. So put textures on. Oh shit. No. I think. Sorry, I just had to. I, I've got like a, a bad OCD type thing on my computer. I can't have folders which I don't need lying around. And I've just created one. <laughs> I just can't have it. Okay, so we got the, the texture in. All fine. Um, rigging him. Okay, we need to make sure he's level. My brother didn't do that, did you? What? You didn't put him level. He's on a wonk. I told you, I only know how to extract them and put them into Cinema 4D no. and save them. No, you know how to do them. Okay, so there, just hit this button and select the rotation back to naught. Uh, maybe shove it in the middle and check it. Um, and that should be at the bottom. Yeah, that's all good. So then now, because it's in the center, you can size them up in that. Uh, which we might need. Oh no, we won't need to. But if you want to put like an endorphin animation on or something like that, then you may have to size them up in that. But the arms are the problem with that. So, um, yeah, let's start. Just go to joint tool, character joint tool. Um, make sure root null is selected. Hold control and just select his pelvis. And that will start off. So start in with a root and add in a joint. Um, hold control and you can just drag. Oh, make sure you're in um, front view as well. Um, hold control, start. Oh, bollocks. Um, hold. Oh, okay. Um, if, you've if you need to come off like I have. Um, if you go onto the, just click on here or not, just come hold it down, go to joint tool, check off the root null because that will just make a new root. You don't need to after you've made the, the root the first time. Hold control and then you can carry on. So I'm just going to do one sort of, sort of, I don't know, like, let's just do here, 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 maybe just move this up a bit. Have that to the oh. have that sort of to the neck, and then have another one coming up. So now we got from the pelvis to the head, which want to come into the side view. Um, I just it's a little bit easier. I just want to move this into place. Um, zoom out a bit. Okay, so he needs to come back there. It's about level in with his stomach. Now we need to sort of position them in the side, sort of vu, vu. Um, so bring that sort of bit to there, it's a bit to the neck. And I'll just bring that to about here. So it follows the, um, it's in place the front and side view. So you know that's bang on in the middle of him. Come back to the front. Um, you definitely need root, root node definitely checked off now. But what I usually do is, if you can, just go down to symmetry. And then click draw on the symmetry button. Um, just click on sort of this one because I'm going to build like a clavicle type thing. So I'm going to drag it out here. And it will be symmetrical from here. Oh, well, I've got a phone call, guys, so I'll be back in a bizzle. Alright, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm just having some problems with um, like phone calls. So if I, get, if I have to go again, I'm sorry, but I just want to like, get it done because I might be busy later. So yeah, what we got to. Okay. So we've got the tool, and we've selected out to sort of the shoulders. Hold control, bring it down to sort of elbows, which would sort of be around here. Doesn't matter if they're not all straight yet, we can fix that. Maybe go to the hands, and you can further extend to your fingers if you want. But just take off the symmetry now, and what you want to do is you just want to grab them and just put them in place, just so they're just relatively in the right place to start with. And then what we can do is we can go to side view and they're pretty much all in the same place anyway 
and you have to select both of them, or you can put symmetry back on and put them both. Um, so I'm just, just going to leave symmetry enabled now because now we're going to go onto the legs. So just click on the bottom one, probably bring it out to about here, down to the knees, and down to the foot. And once we're down to the foot, we can go into side view. Bring the side view back to his ankle, maybe keep these to his knees, which are sort of fine. Click back down, go to sort of halfway in between his foot and then to the end of his toes. So you can just adjust his toes if you need to. Um, and then, okay, I don't know why this does this, but if that happens, just come into the move tool, go to select sort of so where it's all of it, just go into like front view and just move it. Do the same with the other one, which will probably be here. No, that's not right. Um, ah, here. So I just need to drop these down and go to joint three, and bring that down to the middle as well. But I'll bring that here because now I'm gonna move these into the place where they should be. So that is the Slender Man rigged, and then just drag that into him. Select children, hold control, select that, commands, uh, character commands, and bind. And that is how you rig the Slender Man. Um, I can't remember where his arms are. I think they're in here. That's his head, and then these are his arms. So yeah, you can now... And then you can, you're gonna obviously going to need to uh, do your weight tools, so go into weight. And because this is all... Do you want to bring the strength to 100 and visualize only off? Hold add, and because this is just the end of the bone, you just want to select all this so he's got his hand. You want to do that with the other as well. I should put it be down here, which is all done. That's already done. So that's all right. And then just do his legs if you need to, which will be down here. I think they're pretty much fine. Um, head. Yeah, you might just want to erase just the bottom bit. But once you've erased this, you're going to have to need to add it to his... Uh, oh, no, that's all good. So you can always tell if you've missed a bit of weight, which you need to add, because what you can do is you can just grab the root, and you can just move him. And as you can see, there's nothing dragging behind him. So we've got all the weight sorted, and that should be fine. It's not a, a hard model to rig. It just can be a bit confusing. So yeah, that's what, how you rig it. Sorry I have a bit in a rush and I was sort of interrupted, but that's fine. Um, still got the tutorial out. That's how you rig the Slender Man. So see you in the next video. Um, hopefully that will be soon. Peace.